Mabuhai Kamustika. Welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Straight talk today about a foreigner and Filipina trusting each other. It's about time we get back and do a video about trust. Trust is something that any foreigner looking for a Filipina will have on their mind. And it actually goes both ways. Pull up a chair today and here talk about trust. Subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea where you will learn more than trust because I want to help with all kinds of things you'll need to know about a relationship with a woman from the Philippines. Even after marriage, we want to find our spouse trustworthy. Now, I have rarely seen in-depth talk about trust on YouTube, so I will do something about that. If you are so inclined, you're welcome to leave a comment about this issue of trust. See the links in the description box for the LVBTS website soon to get a makeover. I will share some thoughts and experiences we have had in the area of trust. Trust is important, of course, in any relationship of any kind, but especially when getting to know someone like a Filipina who is so far away. It's one thing to say that you trust the Filipina, but I want to talk about how long does it take to think you trust her. Here's my definition, first of all. Trusting someone means that you think they are reliable, you have confidence in them, and you feel safe physically and emotionally. I love Beyond the Sea. I want to share with others what I have learned about marriage to my Filipino wife since May 10th, 2015. Please subscribe if you're open to considering starting a relationship with a Filipina, are already in one, or even have been married for quite a while. I proposed to my wife on day 18 without meeting her in person yet, then flew to the Philippines and married her in only 54 days. It could have been sooner if not for not having a passport and the Philippine requirement of needing to be in the country for 10 days before marrying. To be honest with you, I hope you trust me, I don't remember asking myself if I trusted her enough to marry that fast. There had to be some elements to the short relationship that led me to believe that I could trust her. I find the whole trust issue confounding. I am not unintelligent. I am not afraid of commitment. In those 30 years that I couldn't find a relationship, I suppose I could have allowed myself to get sucked into a bad one, but I didn't. There has to be a reason I trusted this woman from the Philippines to be my wife so quickly. Considering we are doing well in the five years since, a certain level of trust must have been present enough to get off the ground. To delve into trust, I'm going to ask four questions. Again, comments are welcome. Let me know what you needed to know in order to trust your Filipina, what she needed to trust you. Let me know how long it took to um, trust each other, and let's talk about the thought process and when you know you can trust each other. First question, how much should I be able to trust her? Absolute trust would require us to live through a multitude of arguments and conflicts over a long time, so that couldn't be my standard for trust, for my comfort level. Again, trusting someone means that you think they are reliable, you have confidence in them, and you feel safe physically and emotionally. Maybe my standards, or I should say my expectations, weren't super high. 27-year age gap, culture, you know, difference, little in-person observation. I trusted her as much as someone, you know, asking the questions I did and getting the answers I got could trust her, could feel she was reliable and give me enough confidence to trust her more by marrying her. We've been married for five years. I still trust her. Can there be degrees of trust, increasing degrees of trust, probably, based on time together? If I say I trust her more today than when we married, does, does not mean that I didn't trust her before at all. I can say that over time she has confirmed my trust. If I am checking her Facebook and the people she talks to without reason to suspect her of something, that might indicate I tend to have a hard time trusting people and maybe I'm doing that only because some other people don't trust Filipinas. My wife was consistent in her comments to me in those early days. I didn't see any contradictions. I saw her on camera at her house where it is less likely she would try to pull the wool over my eyes. She really gave me no reason to distrust her. I could have asked endless questions about why she would want to marry me, but I didn't. Another question, how will I know that she can be trusted? 
I have had many surgeries and am probably not done having them. If you asked me if I trusted the surgeons, I probably would respond that I had no choice. Then I might add that he has experience doing them, but admit that I never met him and can only make some assumptions about him. There are some physicians I definitely do not trust. I believe they have been unethical and sometimes done some things uh, to harm my health, but um, I digress. I even tried once um, to report someone, but I was told not to do that, being that the AMA was very powerful. They proved themselves untrustworthy due to their behavior. The Filipina I married had not done anything like that. How will I know she can be trusted? I hope you don't mind when I answer this question with, I will only know she can be trusted after she has proven she can't be. It takes a lot of situations to be seen as reliable, gain my confidence, and feel safe physically and emotionally with her. Way more than I can acquire through dating only. Leave a comment if you, you know, think that's wacky. That would be revealed only through many years of marriage. She can prove herself untrustworthy relatively quickly. But to be proven worthy of trust, that requires an impeccable reputation or evidence over a long time. My lips need more coffee, I think. I never asked her if she could be trusted. I didn't see any reason for me not to trust her. We chatted at least four hours a day, and if you know me, we didn't waste a lot of time talking about fluff. She knew I had a corny sense of humor, but for the most part, she knew I was someone very serious about marriage and how it should work and was looking for someone who thought the same. She was consistent in her comments. There weren't contradictory statements. Did she tell me absolutely everything about herself? No, because I didn't ask her to, and um, how would she know everything I would be curious about? At, one, at what point in time will I have the revelation that this woman has passed all the tests with flying colors, has checked off all the boxes, and can be counted on to be trusted 100% of the time for the rest of our lives? That probably won't happen. I wouldn't know how to properly interrogate her or to be absolutely sure she isn't holding something back. There are people who are able to beat lie detector tests. I had a reasonable sense she could be trusted enough for us to start a life together. I can sleep at night with this approach. Third question, why should she trust me? What if a Filipina asks me questions to gauge if she can trust me? I might say something like, did I do something wrong? If I given you a reason to think I might be unreliable or not telling the truth, I would likely feel disrespected and so would she if, she, if the tables were turned. In a very long distance relationship, I think there has to be more trust. But having said that, I can see the point of someone saying that in a very long distance relationship, you have to be more suspicious or at least cautious because of the high degree of difficulty to verify things that are said. Some foreign men don't trust Filipinas because of all the bad things they have read. You know, she's just after my money, just wants a visa. She will become Americanized. I have a video on 29 ways to uh, prevent your Filipina from becoming Americanized. You can just do a search for that. Some Filipinas don't trust foreign men because of all the bad things they have read. You know, he might beat me. They just play games. They aren't serious. I have never tried to prove to Isa that she could trust me. What I did do was to be open about my past, talk about the type of leader of our marriage I wanted to be, and why and how. I believe we both had to trust each other, to be reliable and feel safe with each other until there was no reason to. Fourth question, how long should it take a Filipina to trust you? She could reverse the questions and probably has, even if without realizing it. She knows only what you tell her. She doesn't know your friends. She only knows what you tell her about your past relationships. She isn't going to ask you what you've learned from past mistakes in all likelihood, although that's a good question. In most cases for immigration, it is the Filipina who is making the daring move very far away to a strange country with, um, let's see what I can do to get rid of this. Um, I, I think she has um, been making this daring move and to marry someone that is by and large a stranger. She's been forewarned what could happen as far as mistreatment and you know what her options are for help. When my wife told me what her conference for Filipinos overseas taught her, 
initially I was a little upset because it sounded like they were trying to set us up to fail by talking about all the bad things that can happen, you know, even what to do if it did. So um, things I did that helped her trust me. Now that that phone call is over, I assume my wife, uh, it wasn't her, I assume my wife trusted me before we married and would say she trusts me today, perhaps more fully, simply because it takes time. And over time, I have shown her that she can think of me as reliable. She can have confidence. She can feel safe with me physically and emotionally. I reinforce that consistently um, by being gentle with her, with the way I give her non-sexual touch. It shows I care for her emotionally. I want her to know that I'm very interested in our future. My wife doesn't tolerate a lot of numbers and can get frustrated when I talk to her about money for this, money for that, and what we will need because she uh, just tends to think of the present. But she gets the idea that I'm in it for the long term because I talk to her about the long term in practical ways. She can trust me more because when we were dating and married, all I could do is talk to her about the future. But since we have been married a while, she has seen up close and personal that I am trying to give her the future she wants and needs. If my wife had a degree of distrust, or maybe I should call it a lack of tangible proof of trust before we married, she surely knows now that she has probably nothing to worry about from now on. I think I have spent the first five years of our marriage building on the trust she had when we first got married. I can also say my wife has spent those years building my trust by the type of wife she has been. Something my wife revealed to me was um, that she felt better about us getting married after doing a Skype with my pastor. She offered to do it, the Skype, it was her idea. My pastor came over about six in the morning, probably on Saturday, which would be evening in the Philippines, chatted with my wife for about 40 minutes. He had never done anything like that before. I have to laugh remembering him telling her that um, she typed so fast. I can still remember her, remember hearing her strike the keys with vigor and excitement. When they concluded, he gave me his approval of our relationship. This was a first for him, but hopefully not the last. Later, she met with my mother and aunt on Skype, a first for them too. Am I suggesting you do something similar? Yes, I am, because that will help her to trust you. That webcam with my pastor was a watershed moment for her and for us. She said after doing that, she was comfortable with me, a synonym for trust. I do try to earn her trust, whether it is a conscious effort or not. Perhaps she does the same. If I admit the trust takes time, that doesn't mean that all of that time should be for um, should be before getting married. I think it comes down to having a certain amount of comfort level with each other, admitting that you don't you know know much really about each other and won't for some time down the road. Please think of comments to ask as we near the end of this upload. Some people would say that you should never trust anyone. I can't live that way. You know, if that statement were true, then it would mean that no one should ever trust me. Um, you know, I would say, no, you are guaranteed to get hurt. Your vulnerability is guaranteed to get exposed. You are going to get misunderstood at times. Your Filipina is going to do things that make you angry and you're going to do things she wished she knew before she married you. Everyone wants to trust the person they are with and trust is often broken. You may have trusted someone at one time only to have them break that trust. And now you don't trust them. Sometimes we wonder if we can trust anyone. We might wonder if we should invest any time in getting close to someone since they might end up breaking our trust. Except that you'll be let down throughout the relationship. No one is completely trustworthy all the time, I guess. We don't always seem to trust God and we would admit that he is perfect, true and trustworthy. Yet there are times we don't trust him. We show that by something called worry and discontentment. If we don't trust God, then how can we possibly trust another human being? Before I conclude, it dawned on me when preparing this that I have trusted God throughout this relationship. I trusted him all those 30 years without my wife when I felt in hopeless despair of ever getting married. When my relationship with Isa was forming, I remember saying to God that if he was going to allow me to go all the way to the Philippines to marry after all I had been through and get scammed, then I just don't know what to say. I didn't see any logical reason why he would do that to me. If that happened, I would simply just acknowledge that the whole thing is beyond my ability to comprehend. No risk, no reward, right? There is risk in any relationship. In those 54 short days, I, I believe I did my due diligence 
enough of it anyway. My wife didn't give me a reason not to trust her, and I wasn't interested in finding reasons to think she would. How long should it take to trust your Filipina, for her to trust you? I could rephrase this, how long are you going to take to trust this Filipina? How long is she going to take to trust you? You already know she isn't perfect. She has told lies just as you have in your life. If you're going to trust her to simply be a normal human being, you won't expect perfection. You will expect some conflict and friction now and then in your relationship as being completely normal. Don't let that be a reason to not trust her. Let me know what you needed to know in order to trust your Filipina or what she needed to know to trust you. Let me know how long it took to trust each other. Leave a comment about your thought process in your own relationship and when you knew you could trust each other. My trust has paid off with my love beyond the sea. Now I can get back to that phone call.